Did you know that 70% of couples feel misunderstood because they don't know their partner's love language? It's an astonishing statistic, but it underscores the importance of understanding love languages. These are the ways we express and receive love, and they can make or break our relationships. There are five main love languages, words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. Each one is unique and speaks to a different aspect of love. Words of affirmation are all about verbal expressions of love and appreciation. Acts of service focus on actions that show you care. Receiving gifts is about the thoughtfulness behind the gift, not the gift itself. Quality time revolves around undivided attention and shared experiences. And physical touch, well, it's all about the power of physical connection and intimacy. Imagine how understanding these languages of love could transform your relationships. Picture this, your partner just had a tough day at work and you tell them how proud you are of their resilience. Imagine the light in their eyes as they hear your words, the load seemingly lifting from their shoulders. That, my friends, is the power of words of affirmation. Consider a couple, let's call them Sam and Alex. Sam, a struggling artist, often doubted his talent. But Alex, understanding Sam's love language, consistently showered him with words of encouragement and appreciation. Alex's affirmations became Sam's fuel, propelling him to persevere and ultimately find success. This is the magic of positive words. They can uplift a person, spark a newfound confidence, and in turn, strengthen the bond between couples. In a relationship, understanding that your partner might need these verbal assurances of love can make a world of difference. Words hold power, and when used right, they can become the strongest expression of love. Imagine coming home to a sparkling clean house after a long, tiring day. How would that make you feel? Picture this. John, who's always been a man of few words, notices his partner Mary struggling to juggle her job, chores, and personal projects. He decides to step in without being asked and takes up some of the chores. He starts doing the dishes, tidying up around the house, even cooking dinner on days Mary is swamped. Over time, Mary realizes what John is doing and appreciates his efforts. His actions, though silent and seemingly small, speak louder than any words could. He's showing his love and care, not through grand gestures or eloquent speeches, but through his acts of service. These actions, the willingness to help, to ease the load, are a testament of his love. They affirm their connection and deepen their bond. Acts of service, big or small, can speak volumes about your love for your partner. Have you ever wondered why your partner doesn't seem to appreciate your efforts in the same way you do? It's a question that many of us ask ourselves, often leading to feelings of confusion, frustration, or even resentment. But what if I told you that the key to solving this mystery lies in understanding and sharing your love languages? You see, each of us has a unique way of expressing and receiving love a love language, if you will. For some, it may be words of affirmation. For others, it could be acts of service or quality time together. The trick is in identifying these languages, communicating them to your partner, and understanding theirs in return. Take Jack and Jill, for example. Jack loved Jill dearly, and he showed it by doing things for her, fixing things around the house, cooking dinner, even doing the laundry. Jill appreciated Jack's efforts, but always felt something was missing. She craved words of affirmation. Hearing Jack express his love in words meant the world to her. One day, they came across the concept of love languages, and it was a revelation. Jack, who had been speaking his love language of acts of service, learned that Jill's love language was words of affirmation. And Jill, in turn, understood why Jack was always so keen on doing things for her. They began to communicate their love in a way that the other person could truly appreciate and understand. The transformation in their relationship was remarkable. They felt more connected, more appreciated, and more in love than ever before. All because they took the time to understand each other's love languages. So if you're wondering why your partner doesn't seem to appreciate your efforts in the same way you do, it could be because you're not speaking their love language. But don't fret. By understanding and communicating your love languages, you can unlock a deeper level of connection and understanding in your relationship. Understanding your partner's love language is like unlocking a secret door to their heart. So why not take the time to discover the key? The love, connection, and understanding waiting on the other side, 
are well worth the effort. Now it's your turn to share. What's your love language? Take a moment and think about how this newfound understanding has influenced your relationships. Perhaps it's words of affirmation that resonate with you, or maybe acts of service speak to your heart. Have you found that knowing your love language has brought you closer to your partner? Or maybe it's helped you understand your own needs better. Whatever your experience may be, we'd love to hear about it. So go on and share your stories below. Let's create a space where we can all learn from each other's experiences and perspectives. And remember, understanding love languages is not a one-stop destination. It's a journey that we take, a journey that helps us to love better, to understand deeper. So why not join us on this journey of love and understanding? Just hit that subscribe button and let's continue exploring the beautiful language of love together. Remember, understanding love languages is a journey, not a destination. So subscribe and join us on this journey of love and understanding.